एंड वेलकम टू दी सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस दी फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन विद से फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट विद कॉर्डिनेट्स माइनस वन थ्री टू एंड परपेंडिक्यूलर टू ईच ऑफ द प्लेन्स एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस थ्री जेड इक्वल टू फाइव एंड थ्री एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस जेड इक्वल टू जीरो बिफोर वी मूव ऑन टू दी सोल्यूशन लेट्स वी कॉल द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन passing through say a point with coordinates x1 y1 z1 is given by a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 equal to 0 where a b and c are the direction ratios of the normal to the plane next let's see what is the condition of the two planes to be perpendicular to each other consider two planes a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y Plus c to z plus d to equal to zero. Then these two planes are perpendicular if a one a two plus b one b two plus c one c two is equal to Zero. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. We are given a point, say point A, with coordinates minus one, three, two. Now, the equation of the plane passing through. The point A with coordinates minus one three two is A into x minus minus one. That is the x coordinate of point A plus B into y minus y coordinate of point A. That is three plus C into z minus z coordinate of point A. That is two is equal to zero. Thus we get A into X plus one plus b into y minus three plus c into z minus two is equal to zero. Let this be equation one. Now the other two planes given to us are x plus two y plus three z equal to five. Let this be equation two and three x plus three y plus z is equal to zero. Let this be equation. Three. It's given that plane one is perpendicular to plane two. Therefore, we have a into one, that is a, plus b into two, that is two b, plus c into three. That is three c is equal to zero. Using the condition given in the key idea, we take this as equation four. Now next we have plane one is perpendicular to plane three. Therefore, we have. A into three, that is three A plus three into B, three B plus C into one, that is C is equal to zero. Using the condition given in the key idea for the two planes to be perpendicular. 
So let this be equation 5. So now eliminating A, B and C from equations 1, 4 and 5 we get determinant with elements in the first row as x plus 1, y minus 3 and z minus 2 In the second row, the elements are 1, 2, and 3. In the third row, the elements are 3, 3, and 1. And this determinant is equal to 0. So this gives us x plus 1 into 2 into 1, that is 2, minus 3 into 3, that is 9, minus y minus 3, this multiplied by 1 into 1, that is 1, minus 3 into 3, that is 9, plus z minus 2 into 1 into 3, that is 3, minus 3 into 2, which is 6, is equal to 0. So this means we have minus 7 into x plus 1 plus 8 into y minus 3 minus 3 into z minus 2 is equal to 0. That is minus 7x minus 7 plus 8y minus 24 minus 3z plus 6 is equal to 0. This gives us minus 7x plus 8y minus 3z minus 25 is equal to 0. Hence we have 7x minus 8y plus 3z plus 25 is equal to 0. Hence, hence the required equation of the plane is 7x minus 8y plus 3z plus 25 is equal to 0. This is our final answer. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.